Hi everybody. Well this is something completely different but I wanted to share this with you because I love clever pieces of design and engineering which are also very simple. Um, now Mrs Spice bought me this for Christmas. Any ideas what it is? Of course everybody got it. It's the rear wing from an AIM-9 2B Sidewinder missile. You know, obvious type Christmas present. But the reason this is really interesting is this bit here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is quite big. This is made of aluminium and some sort of composite. Um, and then this is metal, obviously, all of this. And you'll notice this spinning wheel here. Well, this is where the interesting thing is. Okay, so what this thing is with the uh, spinning wheel here is an air-powered gyroscopic stabiliser for the missile. Now, this missile is a heat-seeking missile. Um, the AIM-9 was originally designed in the late 60s, wasn't manufactured till the late 70s, early 80s, um, but it is a heat-seeking missile. But one of the clever things about this is the guiding system that it's got uh, means that rather than just aiming at the heat and following, it can anticipate where it's going and then, you know, corner it off as it were, so it does a shorter distance catch up with the plane that it's firing at, um, as I understand it. It needs to be stable because of that guidance system. Now, how can you keep it stable? And what I mean by that is if the body of the uh, missile is doing this in the longwards axis, you can't have that with the guidance system, so they need it to be flat through flight. So they came up with this, which is called a roller on, and this is the only place one has ever been used, as far as I'm aware, commercially um, or militarily wise. Some people have tried using them on some model rockets, and I think they've had some success. The way it works is it's got this catch on the back. See, this is locked in place. It's got this catch on the back. Now, I assume that inertia makes this pop out because obviously this missile does Mach 2.5 so it shooting off is more than likely enough to get this to come out and lock out and then this swings side to side and it's on a damper obviously this is this is old this was made uh, I've checked the numbers it was made in 2006 US uh, Navy and it was built in Ohio I believe or at least part of the dampening system was anyway but yeah as you can see slides back and forwards well, obviously, if you've got an air-driven wheel, you want to spin it up, don't you? Well, we're going to do that. But, I'll admit, me and my brother did this earlier on. I was just like, he had the air hose out. I was like, let's try it. We got concerned. <laughs> the noise concerned us. It, it goes quickly. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's go. And finally it stops. Oh, you can just see there, it's got a couple of, see these dots? These are obviously balancing um, drill marks where they've had to balance the fin. So as you can tell, it's going chuffing quickly. I wish I had a timing light or some thing to be able to work out what RPM this is going. But I thought, let's spin it up and see if the gyroscopic effect is visible at this speed. I imagine it probably is. As I understand it, these run at about 100,000 RPM when fired normally. So I don't know if we're getting anywhere near that. I can't. I don't know the, the physics of working out the pressure versus the nozzle size, wind speed, and, and cheese. I've also found an air brake, so I don't fancy putting my finger in that. So there we go. It's, it's really clever, because if you think about it, 
The gyroscopic force keeping this straight, when this starts to turn, this sticks out, but this becomes a flight surface on the outside. Now remember that this missile has four of these, so, um, one on, so it has one of these on each axis. It must keep it dead straight, because that's a decent control surface times four. So there you go. I think that's pretty amazing. It's a simple piece of technology which hasn't been used anywhere else. Well, I got the apps last night and I did three practice tests and passed them all, so I was like, okay, well that's okay. And then got the hazard perception one and passed that and was like, okay, that's okay. <laughs> so that shouldn't be a problem with here.